Uh, Deborah Anderson, I just muted you. Your phone's causing feedback. Sorry about that. Uh, so again, that's 559-726-1399. And the uh, audio key to hit that is uh, pound 97, 94, and then hit pound again. And uh, you should have access, and I think you can fast forward. It's a five and a half hour conversation. Um, but a lot of this has all been covered yesterday. Uh, we're still waiting for boots on the ground to come in right now. We had a couple guys that were boots on the ground that did call earlier. Uh, cell phone signal went down. Uh, hopefully he can chime in. He was driving to go get supplies and heading back in a little bit. Uh, hopefully he doesn't get detained. But uh, I know he will be calling me. Uh, and that was my other question. Go ahead. Is, is there a way um, in and out through the desert instead of just taking the highways? Uh, hang on one second. Jacqueline, I know you're going to chime in next. And, sir, as far as uh, that goes, you know, in the world of, uh, I, I give you the old, what we say at work is uh, GTS, man. Google that shit. Look up the ranch. It's right there. You've got, uh, you know, views of every route to get get in there, man. That's the best I can give you without giving up too much information, you know, uh, with uh, CECOM. Uh, I'd like you to go ahead and devise that on your own if, if you're sending people out there. Uh, you know, definitely get them on this phone call. But as far as CECOM, there are ears uh, on this call right now, I, I, I can tell. Uh, I keep removing them, but they keep calling back. There's not much I can do uh, other than interrupt this phone call. So, uh, again, you know, I, I'd like to keep that things under your hat, you know, plan that with your guys. Uh, as far as I can tell, there's five entrance routes to get directly to the campsites that are there. And then uh, you can contact me directly for uh, the request to talk to the uh, liaison between the rancher and uh, the uh, militias as of right now. That's the best I've got. 10-4, thank you, sir. Brian, yes, sir. I have a question. Go ahead. Oh, actually, uh, you know what? Sorry about that, sir. If you could hold on one minute, Jacqueline. Ladies first. Jacqueline, I'm going to give you about five seconds to go ahead and chime back in. You were the next in line. And the gentleman that just had my attention, go ahead. Uh, as far as the Twitter page, I need a, I need a Twitter tag to where I could follow this. Uh, I'm Melissa from Mississippi. Are you friends with uh, Drew by chance? I don't know a Drew. Drew Rayner? I am a friend with Drew's. All right, just curious. I'd like to see how old Drew's doing. He hasn't chimed in for over six months. Uh, if, if you can, tell him to get a hold of me. It's uh, kind of important. Go ahead, Mississippi. Sorry about that. Uh, just looking for a, a Twitter page. Uh, where I can follow it. I'm following it on Facebook. I need Twitter. Uh, and any other way I can remotely access uh, updates regularly from the whole situation that's going down. Uh, there's a gentleman on Facebook that's boots on the ground right now. Uh, geez, what was that? Paul, anybody catch that from re Paul Niblock, N-I-B-L-O-C-K? Uh, he's accepting friend requests at the moment. He's getting maxed out real quick. Um, okay. Latest info, I'm going to read his, uh, hold on, you know what, let me hit refresh. I'm going to read uh, the last statement he gave up about a hour ago. This is all he posted, so I'm just reading word for word. Uh, latest info, a report was received from a protester who is a retired lieutenant colonel who went to meet with Dan Love. Dan Love is the special agent in charge of the BLM contingent. So let's all remember the man Dan Love because he's about to get a whole bunch of calls uh, at their staging area. He is of the opinion that the BLM rangers surrounding Dan Love were Middle Eastern in appearance and thought only... Uh, wait, the only one he was able to question whose name tag said Johnson on it, and he was unable to answer his inquiry uh, of his first name. Essentially, he thinks these are foreign troops operating under the guise of federal troops, uh, albeit most likely uh, blue hats or contractors, and uh, that's going to be a big one to watch for. Do we know if UN is chiming in on this? I apologize. Say that again. Right. Do we know if you were in chiming in on this? Uh, I can't say yay or nay, but what I can say is this is a lot more than cows and tortoises, mm -hmm. bro. Uh, it sounds a lot more like mm -hmm. mineral rights is what people have been saying. Uh, there was yeah. a real estate agent that's been dealing with those properties for a while, and there's certain uh, people that have interest on these properties. Um, there is beyond a shadow of a doubt that there are minerals, ores, uh, oil, and fresh water on these uh, uh, properties that are mm -hmm. trying to be acquired that are, uh, you know, but potentially, it sounds like eminent domain to me. Okay. Uh, do you, do you have a Twitter page? Uh, I don't. I don't twit, man. I'm, I'm on Facebook. Uh, okay. Doing what I do takes up a lot of time. Uh, that's pretty much the best way to find me. You could uh, type in the words "free the people," uh, all one word, and I'll be right there waiting for you, man. Um, I might. 
on my messages and uh, private chats right now, I've got over 40 windows up of people that are trying to ask questions. So uh, <laughs> okay. if y'all can it. just take your time, I'll get back to you on those kind of questions uh, as soon as I can. Uh, you know, I'm trying to run this conference call, moderate, and uh, handle multiple tasks at this moment. I wish I was an octopus. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, I'm in. Hey, Brian. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Let me back. Sure. Let me back up. There was a lady that was in queue. Maybe she's back right now here, that wanted I'm... to speak. Um, let me get a second. I'll chime in. No, go ahead. It's all your floor, man. Oh, I think here. This is Guy in Vegas. Um, was anybody else, anybody on this conference call, anyone else here at the um, protest at the sheriff's department today? I haven't seen that no. yet. No, nobody. Well, I did go today. I was there. I did speak with one of Bundy's nephews who spoke. I have confirmed that some, the water mains have been cut off to the land, not the ranch house itself at this point. Uh, his mother, who was dropped to the ground, is doing better. She's fine. Um, other than that, Sheriff Gillespie did not have the nuts to step out of that building and address any questions. Uh, in his uh, office. How do you prefer to be addressed, ma'am? Who, me? Yeah, which, uh, if you want to give your name or... Diana. Hey, Diana. Um, I'm going to be speaking to you directly. You're my now four confirmed boots on the ground. Are you okay with that? I am perfectly fine with that. But I want to um, get a confirmation on the Hummers that we're seeing going up the I-15, going north. If that person is still on, can you please give me an, est a t an estimated time that you receive that information? Oh! Hang on, whoever's singing in the shower, you just got yourself removed from this phone call. <laughs> hey, Brian, are, 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 are any of the major news organizations covering this at all? I haven't been home to see the television. Uh, I stated, I stated earlier, uh, there's, there's a lot of weird things going on right now. Now, underground media is all over this. If you're, if you're on Facebook, I can't get away from it. Uh, if, if you're on, uh, you know, regular news media, I was told, uh, was it, uh, Fox news and one of their affiliates. And then, uh, Hannity, if I'm not mistaken, is covering this, uh, tomorrow. Um, I'm highly recommending if you've got any media Hi, outlets guys. or if you want to search for some, start sending media out there because at least if the media is there, most likely there's not going to be any bloodshed. And that's what why they're not covering it because most likely they're expecting it. And I hate to say it, uh, there was a report that my guy on the ground, number three, says that DHS is supposedly sending up to 200 different, I'm not sure if it was soldiers or vehicles there, uh, by tomorrow afternoon. Hannity, Hannity, Hannity said on the radio today that he was he was thinking about going out there himself. I wonder if yeah, he's that, that was brave. Right. Hello? Kind of what came out. People there. Hang on. Uh, we've got a couple of people talking over. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. Diana, if you want to continue that. Yeah, I just want to get an ETA on whoever saw those hummers or reported them going up to 15 North. Uh, I um, he's out there right now posting things on my Facebook page. Uh, my yeah, brother so. in Georgia said that a minute ago. If, if you're still on, man, and you've got that confirmation, uh, we've got boots on the ground that would like to speak with the people that saw that caravan. Just uh, putting that out. Yeah, because we're trying to get between the magazine that I work with for rock journalism and one of the local internet radio stations I've done shows for, we're trying to get all that correct information because we don't want to be wrong. Um, uh, can I interrupt for a second? I'm with I'm good with Gorilla Media Network, and Pete Santilli is on the ground there. Okay, yeah. yeah he, is the information. he is the one that put out that video of uh, the sister getting thrown to the ground, or the aunt, I mean. Right. And, yeah. He's there somewhere. We're trying to get a hold of him. Uh, oh, Gorilla yeah, Media. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Gorilla Media Network. Gorilla Media Network, if you could stay uh, in the break of this call with uh, Diana and I right now. Uh, most likely, that's one of the better underground avenues that we have right now. I'm familiar with your network. Uh, I actually applied to a radio broadcast there like uh, about a year ago. Um, I want to put you two in touch with each other. I've got both your numbers. Uh, actually, if you could speak up again from Gorilla Media, um, I can... What, what was your name? Alexis Cole. Just going to call sister. I'm sorry, was that Alexa? Yes. Hi, Alexa. It's nice and to meet you. 
All right. Uh, Ryan? I'm Leslie Jones, who's a producer with the show that's about to call in as well. All right. I appreciate that. Make sure he speaks up when that time comes for me. Uh, I'm going to repeat again. I'm hosting this call. I need you guys uh, to bear with me here. There's a lot going on. Uh, we're just trying to get everybody on the same page. Uh, Boots on the Ground was calling in a minute ago. If, if Boots on the Ground are also on the line, uh, I want you in touch with Diana and uh, Alexa. Make sure you chime in as soon as you can get him on the phone. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. All right, bear with me. I have your number too, and I'm going to try to get you guys uh, in mm -hmm. communication here when I can. Uh, yeah, feel free. Yeah, I got your information uh, written down. I've got a lot of notebooks going on right now. Um, <laughs> all right, Diana, is there anything you wanted to go ahead and uh, throw out there while we still got you here at the front of the call? I'm sorry, I didn't get the whole thing. A anything else you wanted to state while we've got you here at the uh, head of the phone call right now? Yes, the Bundy nephew made it very mm -hmm. clear. They want to keep this completely peaceful, no hotheads. They want to, mm -hmm. they don't want any trouble. They just want to keep it a very peaceful protest. Uh, that's pretty much what I'm trying to keep out for you, hon, is just yeah. uh, come as peaceful protesters. You know, feel free to leave your guns in the, in the car in a secure, uh, ready manner, but yet... You know, bring some supplies and keep your cool and find the chain of command. Diana, since your boot's on the ground, uh, I'm trying to contact uh, my number two. Uh, he's the liaison for the ranch and the militias. Have you been in contact with a uh, gentleman also by the name of Brian, by chance? No, I haven't. I haven't really been far from the house. So we're planning, we're waiting on a little bit of cash flow to come in, hopefully tomorrow. And some of the local rock musicians and I are going to be heading out together. Uh, Diana, do you have any capabilities to do some printing? Can you make any flyers or anything of that nature? Not at this point, no. Uh, if, if you could, we're, we're trying to find somebody that has that capability. So if you could keep your eyes out for any locals that uh, are trying to assist, that, that's huge right now. Uh, we need information amongst the people there on the ground to uh, also be on the same page, especially uh, you know if they're bearing arms and such. Uh, we need to get in contact with those guys. Definitely what I'll do is um, I'm going to call my buddy Brent and have him get in contact with you through the Internet site. Absolutely. I'm going to be here for uh, quite a few hours, so uh, okay. feel free to catch us. We're all here waiting for you. Is there an estimate mm -hmm. for how many protesters and how many militiamen are actually at the scene now? Diana, can you give any feedback on, like, uh, the nature of the protesters? Are we mm -hmm. talking maybe, uh, you know, out of 500 people, half, half, versus militia versus protesters, even though you know, they're, they're all one. Can you tell the difference? Well, what I was getting from one of our um, musicians here who went down, who's down there today, um, he said when he got there, there was about 250 people already there. Uh, he didn't talk to any of the militia or anybody from Boots on the Ground, so he's just out there taking pictures and sending them through my girl, Miranda, and he was sending was them to me and posting them on my Facebook. Uh, I before we answer yes, that next. this morning. He looks like David Lee Ross. You can't miss him. <laughs> uh, but before we, but before we get to that next question, Diana, uh, I would ask real quick also if you could try to coordinate some sort of uh, uh, inklings of a call tree of sorts. We need people that are from the local area to be able to uh, help monitor the situation. Uh, we need people that actually live in the vicinity that might be willing to uh, you know, uh, support food, shelter, things of that nature, and, and, and can get in and out and have more of the... Uh, you know, uh, atmosphere of the terrain and things like that in the event. If you could try to get us yeah. more people that are locally that could give us reports of traffic, pullovers, police, gunshots, things of that nature, that would help a lot. And that wouldn't be too hard because they got the police scanner too. <laughs> well, Ryan. then uh, if you could get on that. I'm going to go ahead and let this gentleman interject. He's been trying to get in for a while. Sorry, sir. Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, Brian. Go ahead. That's you, Joe. Uh, this is Florida. Uh, check your Facebook PM urgent. Man, if you could see what I'm seeing right now, that's going to take a minute. Okay, this is uh, Florida. Uh, all right. Based on what I see on the screen and based on what you're telling me, how would I neg negate out of now I refresh? I'm at 140 live messages going on. How could I find you in this muck? What's your name on Facebook, sir? Michael Fengazi. Oh, yeah. All right. Hello. 
All right, I uh, appreciate that notation. I, I'm paying attention, sir. Um, okay, cool. Brian, I'm, I'm I'm here. Here. All right, hang on. We got one gentleman speaking very softly that's been trying to chime in. I need you to speak up. Everybody else, if you're not participating in this direct conversation at this moment, we're getting a lot of feedback. I need you to press star and then the number six. For those of you that obviously don't speak English, that's, I don't know how to say star in Spanish, but, you know, star... And then seis, okay? Yeah, there you go. We've got over 200 people on this conference call right now. It's just courteous. I think we had, was it Tennessee or Kentucky that was trying to chime in? Missouri. I, yeah, I think you're talking about me. I, I was gonna, I was having a hard time but trying to go on your Facebook page here for about that, an hour. That's the voice I was looking at. David, right? Yeah, that's me. Go ahead, uh, speak up, uh, sir. You got the floor. Okay, I'm having a real hard time. I've... I've searched your name on Facebook every time. I don't know if maybe I'm the only one having a hard time finding you or, or if you're full or if it's just that bogged down or what. Uh, yeah, as far as finding me on Facebook? Yeah, I was just trying to do, to do that to keep a, a little bit more of a, I guess, a, 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 a constant update on the situation there and not have to be on the phone all night. Oh, uh, yeah, that's just the best I can do right now, man, is uh, that's why we're running the conference call. That's where the updates are coming in. You're getting them live. Uh, yeah, I got you. Uh, you know, I, again, I wish I was an octopus with just as many faces so I can just get this done right now. But, uh, uh, you know, th th this turned into something I didn't expect, man. My, uh, my, my state commander, uh, you know, got a hold of me and said, hey, man, start up a conference call. And uh, this has turned into uh, something pretty cool. You know, we've got leaders from all over the nation now that we've opened this up to and, uh, you know, patriots from all over that are chiming in. And uh, it's kind of nice to see, man. Uh, this is going to rebroadcast later. Uh, again, I need you to press star six right now if you're not trying to talk. Uh, the playback number is 559-726-1399. Uh, uh, there's an audio key, uh, pound 9794, and then you Hello. press pound again. Yeah, we hear you, sir. Yeah, if you could go ahead and press star six on your phone. Yeah, we hear you. Go ahead and Brian, press star six on your phone and mute you yourself out. And, Eric, you can get in in a second, man. Hang on. Uh, all right. Also on uh, Facebook, uh, if you type in Free the People, all one word, I'll pop up. Brian Free the People, Duzak's my last name. I apologize for the Polish uh, horrible last name, but uh, either way, if you add me or follow me, you'll see my last two posts is a replay of last night's phone call, uh, which uh, went into about almost six hours. So uh, I've got somebody on the line that's actually got a lot of clout amongst me. You know, you can take what he says for a grain of salt, but he does speak from his heart. Uh, Eric. Uh, I saw you chime in there, and I know I just interrupted two more people, but uh, I'm going to have to put Eric ahead of you because he's got boots on the ground. Go ahead, Eric. Um, got a couple of statements here that have come forth. Uh, anyone who's coming to the ranch needs to prep for crowd control in case things go bad. Civilians need to have some form of contingency plan as to where to go and what to do if there is gas or other crowd measures utilized. Militia need to be aware uh, if enough show up, there may be a need for masks. Uh, another update I have here, uh, let's make it a priority. Misinformation breeds contempt and puts our patriots in harm's way. Please do your very best to only provide information that has been verified by command points or boots on the ground. We don't want unnecessary harm to come to our fellow patriots by providing misinformation or private information. Think OPSEC. That's all. Okay. Uh, good looking out, Eric. I actually appreciate you saying that. I, I kind of gave that in an earlier gist, but uh, it probably does need to be said again. A lot of people are, you know, some of this is theory, conjecture, secondhand information, and only that is just an experience of what somebody else is perceiving. And we can't take anything to heart right now other than uh, recommendations and suggestions and, uh, you know, keep it as cool as possible. But I do appreciate you saying that, Eric. Uh, if anybody wants to speak up with actual confirmed data, that's great. Other than that, I need you to press star six on your phone right now. I got four new people that just popped in this call that are just uh, causing some feedback. Go ahead, sir. What? Uh, real quick there, this is Drew Walker calling out of Pittsburgh, originally from Las Vegas. Yeah. Um, Las Vegas. Go there ahead. is there is a Indian reservation up the road, the Moapa Indian Reservation. They will give you shelter from the government, which is not allowed on their land. If anybody needs to know that. Hey, what's uh, your name? Hey, you know we really appreciate that. So, do you have any contacts on that? Because uh, 
if they're willing to welcome in some of my boys, I, I, I know a couple fleets that are headed there that would rather be there. If you can confirm that they'll be looking out for each other, uh, we're all for it, man. Can, can, you, uh, can you definitely verify that there are people that are willing to support them on non-federal Absolutely. That from, how far is that from point, uh, ground zero, sir? That's, that's maybe 10 miles up. Sure. Um, it's about 10 miles from where you're at. Did we get a number? Um, hold on. Let me look that up for you real quick, like. All right. Uh, uh, I have a number. Uh, last four digits, 6901. Last four digits, 6901. You've still got the floor, sir. <laughs> Last four digits, 6901. You still got the floor, sir. He's looking up a phone number. All right. Uh, hey, Brian, this is Chris. I got a question for you. One second. <laughs> is that my favorite, Chris? I know exactly who you are, brother. Uh, go ahead. Yeah. I'm in. Uh, hey, I, I just have a question. I, you know, looking from the outside in, and, and I know we haven't talked about this tonight, but I, I'd kind of be curious to hear how we got to where we're at right now. I'm seeing some comments on Facebook about, uh, you know, the local judge ruling in favor with the government and that he all he had to do was pay a grazing fee and, and so on and so on. And so uh, I'm just kind of curious, does anybody know the facts of really where we, how we got to where we're at right now? Uh, basically, the, the family of the rancher uh, put a call out. Uh, they were having issues. They didn't have any backup. Uh, outside states have chimed in and, and sent basically reinforcements just because they were confiscating their cows based on the fact that these guys haven't paid a grazing fee on their own land to their cattle, which is just another uh, technical uh, uh, way to uh, impose on fines, you know, just like any other land tax, et cetera, that, uh, you know, w would put them in a more dire situation when we're all kind of hurting financially right now. Uh, what it seems to boil down to, it's more about the land itself. It has nothing to do with this. Supposedly, uh, there's some data coming that, uh, you know, these uh, BLM guys are, are pretty much hired thugs, it seems. I mean, BLM, Bureau of Land Management, that's just another bureau, bureaucracy. It even starts with the word fucking bureau, um, that they're coming in to en end up breaking this guy and taking his land. And uh, nobody I wants that to happen. My name is uh, Ashley. I'm the producer of the Pete Santilli Show. I can tell you what it's all about. Uh, uh, I have some information coming in. That's Jan. This is Lexus. Well, that's Jan and Network, the one that I told you would be calling in. Oh, all right, ma'am. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give you the floor for a second, and I'm probably going to interrupt you, and then... Uh, you can go ahead and continue, but I'm going to ask anybody right now uh, who doesn't have something uh, directly, uh, a question to us or, or this lady who's about to speak from Gorilla Media Network, uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you speak for a couple minutes, ma'am. Uh, it'll be you and me right now. Everybody else, I need you to press star six for a minute. I just wanted to hear what she had to say, and uh, I definitely have some, uh, some other stuff coming out here. Uh, go ahead, Gorilla Media, what did you have to say, ma'am? You were the producer? Yes, I'm the producer of the, uh, the Pete Santilli Show, and Pete is on the ground. And uh, he, Pete is basically the reason why everybody's converging on it. He got the media's attention with that video that he, re he recorded. And uh, he's, he's been on it since day one. And I've been digging and writing some stories, and I came across stories about Harry Reid is behind this son and the head of the BLM, which is Neil Corns, I believe. This is all about grabbing the land for solar projects and uh, oil fracking and stuff like that. That's what it's all about. And this has been ongoing since 1993. Um, Clive Bundy decided that he's not going to allow the federal government to take over his land and use his tax, his so-called fees that he was to the federal government at the time. To do. So he's started paying it to the government, which is what you're supposed to do anyway. And, but this is what it's all about. They want the land for that reason. And this is being confirmed all over the place now. What about the legal aspect of it? What's been decided in the courts? I'm curious to see that part of it. Well, That's the, where courts, it uh, the courts, here's the problem with the courts. The courts are corrupt. The judges are corrupt, okay? But the courts are saying, oh, he, didn't, he owes like one point some million dollars in grazing fees. It's all a ruse. It's about getting control of the land. That's what it's always been about. I, found, I saw documents today from the BLM before they 
uh, erased it from their website, saying that the trespass cattle are in the way. Okay. Uh, and it, it specifically mentioned the Bundy Ranch. I, I have one question. Can I, can I ask a question real quick? Sure, go right ahead. I have What's a question name? for Texas also, please. I'm sorry? Yes, this is Jay Duckworth in Texas. I also have a question when you're through, please. Oh, okay, well, my question is, is uh, once BLM removes all the cattle, then what? what one, once they remove all the cattle, they leave, then this is over. Is anybody gonna is anybody gonna stop them from from taking the cattle? That is the plan. Yes. Uh, apparently, they've already taken over 300, and there's less than 150 still on lane. Uh, they did but a flyover. The other, the other day. The other uh, day. The other right, day. I, was uh, that, total. I, have uh, I was also just informed that the FAA has now declared this area a no-fly zone. Uh, if anybody is in contact with the uh, Gadsden flight crew that was on the conversation yesterday. I need you guys to chime in or uh, get a hold of them. Uh, they've got a national uh, flight resource that uh, needs to be able to confirm that the FAA has just closed down this area as a no-fly zone. I can confirm that it's a no-fly zone. Yes, many, many people have joined this call who don't know exactly where we're at right now. Could we have a recap from somebody uh, now so that we're all up to speed? Brian. All right. You with the barking dogs, you just got yourself muted. <laughs> okay. That was not me. I don't have dogs. But go on. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and ask one more time as the host of this call, man. This just happened. Uh, I represent some uh, Second Amendment supporters here in Illinois, the Illinois Sons of Liberty. Uh, it's an open group. Everybody's a member. Just get a hold of us. Um, as far as that goes, we turned it into a national call, and it's just blown up from there. Uh, we started this yesterday at 8 Central uh, and a little bit before. Uh, the, the last phone call yesterday up until 3 in this morning, Central, uh, is, there's a playback number for you to recap yourself. It's a f long conversation, but it's uh, area code 559-726-1399, uh, and there's a playback number is pound 9794, pound. That'll get you back on board with what happened yesterday. As far as right now, um, we, there are some things that we've been told, but we can no, neither totally confirm nor deny. But uh, as far as phones went out yesterday, uh, this morning, I'm sorry, for just Thank a little you. while, uh, they're back on. I'll write it all um, out. When I get are, and, uh, are, you talk, are you talking about the cell tower? Not true. There was some interruptions. Uh, I haven't verified. Um, they're back on. I, I was told they were out, but they're not totally out. There was just uh, resetting the tower, supposedly. I can gather that they're most likely getting a lot of uh, uh, static on the lines, considering. Um, that, that being said, there were reports of gunshots, but we got that denied. Uh, we do have boots on the ground. I now have seven different contacts that are going in and out of these phone calls with boots on the ground, and we just added uh, two, two of those in the last hour. So um, is it a volatile situation, awkward situation, and uh, a lot of people are coming forward when there was a call for help. Uh, I, I don't feel that this should go to anything violent, and, uh, but as of right now, you know, people are sending back up, and uh, there are rumors of a couple different groups that have gotten arrested on their way there, Okay. Uh, supposedly a group from Texas. Should have gotten arrested. Okay, I'm sorry. Ryan, when you done? And there were supposedly groups uh, also from Texas and uh, Oklahoma uh, that have been detained, but uh, recently let go. Apparently, uh, there might be some that are still under uh, <clears throat> arrest or whatever. But uh, you know, we're recommending that if people are going down there as peaceful protesters, that's fine and dandy. Um, we're, we're expecting more media attention and alternative media uh, as far as boots on the ground. If anybody is on the call that is boots on the ground again, uh, we can go ahead and let them chime in to give you any updates. But uh, we just told them to call back when there was, uh, you know, something to say. Um, as of right now, you know, it's uh, a very awkward situation. We've got patriots from all over calling in that just want to know more. That's all we're trying to provide. Um, you know, I, we had a gentleman called in here that called me a liar, and uh, it's kind of awkward because I haven't really said very much. Everybody else speaking for themselves, and, uh, you know, I'm just trying to uh, use the control panel and, uh, you know, make this a, a convenient, you know, source of information. We plan to keep going throughout this whole issue. Or we're trying to get these started at around uh, maybe 6 o'clock Central uh, p.m., 
uh, for the next couple of days. Uh, who knows from there? But uh, if anybody is boots on the ground, feel free to chime in right now. Brian, I'm waiting on a confirmation from one of my friends that work at the radar at the uh, tower at uh, McCarran Airport to confirm if the yeah. RSA is required in the Okay, now. yeah. I Brian, I have the phone number for the tribe call. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to go ahead and go with ladies first. There was another gal that was trying to chime in. Go ahead, man. For me? I've got the number for the what? tribal office. It's 702. Uh, uh, I want a couple people to jot this down. 702. Go ahead, ma'am. 862. 2790. 47 I'm sorry. No. All right. You know, for the gentleman that keeps repeating this lady, you're causing an echo, sir. If you could go ahead and press star six on your phone right now to mute yourself out, I need this lady to speak up and give that phone number one more time to the uh, nearby tribal office. The tribal office is 702-865-2790. Thank you, love. Brad from the uh, All right, man. And now, anybody else who's not speaking besides that gentleman that just spoke up, if you could go ahead and uh, hit star six until you've got something important to say. Uh, other than that, we're going to let this gentleman speak. You can't hear me. East Texas Militia requesting time to speak. All right, that was the gentleman I'm looking for that just said the word speak. Hang on a second. Everybody else, star six yourself for a minute, and then when he's done, we can move forward. You can't hear me, can you? Yeah, I can hear you, but we're going to let somebody else speak right now. That's why you're going to press star six. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And, and everybody else here who's on this call, we've got well over almost 250 people now. I need you to press star six on your phone. If you can't hear me right now, that's one thing. <laughs> time to speak. Uh, I'm going to let you be the next guy. Go ahead, the gentleman from uh, Louisiana that was trying to chime in. All right, next caller. How about Jay from Texas Militia? I'm going to give that to Texas Militia. Go ahead, sir. Okay, East Texas Militia on the no-fly zone. N-O-T-A-M four slash one six eight seven FDC four slash one six eight seven ZLL. Z L A N V Airspace Mesquite, Nevada. Temporarily flight restrictions within defined with area within area defined as three N M radius of three six four six four two N slash one four one 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 three west. I have a confirmation on that as well. I have a phone number. AGL Law Enforcement Investigation, pursuant to 14 CFR Section 91-137-A-1. Temporary flight restrictions are in effect. Uh, I would like someone to do me a quick favor. I appreciate that, sir. Uh, we are recording this phone call, so we're going to go ahead and uh, use that on the playback. That was a lot of data all at once, and I do appreciate the effort you just made, um, and, and that's going to be used uh, most likely tomorrow when we can end this conversation. Uh, I need somebody else, uh, a volunteer, to speak up right now that's willing to call that tribal office and get somebody from that tribal office on the phone. I will. Yes, I will. I've got it right here, RTCC telephone number. I've got it right here. All right, I, I'm looking at the number that was just given as well. Uh, if you've got any resources, if somebody could make a call, real cool about it, just to say, hey, look, we're having a nationwide phone call. We need confirmation from someone on your end to verify that you guys are willing to take in some boots on the ground. Missouri, 3%. Thank you. Excuse me. Okay. Missouri, back to me. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Texas, I know you had something to say. In Missouri, you're next in. Missouri's up. Texas. Texas. Two Missouris. I'm after the first Missouri. All right, my bad. Go ahead. First Missouri, go ahead. All right, Missouri. First of all, Brian, I really like how, how this call is being handled. You are an awesome mediator on it. All right? My question is, Bundy has had that farm for 140-plus years. If I'm incorrect, somebody speak up. 
That sounds about right. That's what I heard earlier. Okay. We they they have homestead. They don't pay taxes on a homestead as long as you improve. That's all fine and dandy, but but I've heard stuff about fracking and all that. I'm going to interject something else here. Rare earth. In Missouri, we have Blackhawks flying. It's been on local news, okay? I'm, I'm southeast Missouri. That these helicopters will be flying at night using ground penetrating radar. What are they looking for? I have not. I, I've been on the call. I don't know, hour, maybe more. You have that record. Five four two four. Last four. Okay. Ten four, brother. Um, just, just food for thought. <laughs> We're getting this yeah. recorded. He's calling the FAA. Okay. Second three. NSA, ESA, DHS, all of the alphabet agencies. I don't care. That's um, bad. Did, did I yeah, uh, go ahead, man. Brian, hi. I'm hey, hang on a second, guys. Let the lady speak. Lawyer. She just wants the BLM phone number and also the ZLA. I'll be more happy to get that number to you guys. Uh, better yet, if you want a representative to chime in and let some people know what's going on, that'd be great just to get their perspective. If you can make something like that happen, now we're talking, you know. It was right on the tip. This number is getting it. It's coming on and getting that number. So I, I got to write for uh, intervening. All right, I'm getting a lot of feedback. Hang on a second, guys. Uh, if you could go ahead and if you're not talking right now, I need you to press star six on your phone. There's uh, 250 some odd people on this call. And I can see almost a third of you guys are uh, still open line. And uh, I'm getting all kinds of feedback here. This is pretty important stuff. Uh, I'm just going to ask you to press star six to mute yourself out. You should hear the operator say muted. So if you heard that last, you're cool. If you hear unmuted, then please press star six. Go ahead, sir. Uh, yeah, uh, I did the report earlier about the Humvees going northeast on I-15. I'm also near Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri. And there's ahead, currently uh, there's currently helicopters going uh, westbound from Whiteman Air Force oh. Base, and I've heard some jets also going westbound as I've been looking up currently. And um, there seems to be quite a few of them heading in that direction. And I want to try and get some other confirmation from people down the road if they live ne on in California or Nevada near I-15 to see if the convoy is still en route. All right, let's try this. I'm going to do something a little cooler. Everybody here has obviously got access. Hold on a second, ma'am. Diana, give it a second. Everybody who's on this conversation, let's play a little game. Why don't you go ahead and get on our, our buddy Google and give us that intersection last time that you just gave us. And we're going to follow a path all the way to ground zero. And everybody along that path, we need to find someone that can chime in to help verify these kind of situations. Okay, what was well, that intersection was, that was they were last seen at, brother? Uh, um, hold on, give me a second. I'm on. I'm waiting for Google Maps to load. It was at Arco, yeah. and it was at I-15 over by Yermo, and they were heading northeast from Barstow on an I-15. So that's the last sighting I heard, 15 to 20 of them. And anyone further down the line near I-15, uh, I'm trying to get extra confirmation on that. And also, those helicopters are definitely moving westbound, high speed. When they were seen coming outside of the 15 on Barstow, how long ago was that? Uh, about 30 minutes ago. Okay, that's a good hour from here. Okay. Um, they would actually have to pass a mile from my house. So those things are probably coming out of Fort Irwin. Hey. So I'm so I'm also worried about uh, all these planes because uh, I, since I live very close to Whiteman Air Force Base, there is usually not this much activity at night, and they're going way over Whiteman. They're, they're definitely heading westbound. So I'm trying to put two and two together here. Hey, I interrupt. I need to interject. This is Alexis with GM, and we have confirmation on the no-fly zone, and it was put in for 30 days. We have this on recording from the FAA. Just today. Just today, it was put in. No fly, zone, no fly zone. No fly over, zone over. Uh, 
over, over the ground zero. For 30 days. Ground zero for 30 days. We have it recorded from the FAA. I don't have it yeah, recorded, I need somebody but I just have a phone with them. All right, hang on a second. Uh, we, we're, is the, uh, the the tribal the tribal office there that's nearby? Have they chimed in yet? All right. Again, the phone number is seven zero two eight six five two seven nine zero. That's the tribal office that's offering uh, for for anybody that needs to kind of get away from the situation and go on private uh, tribal land. They're, they've opened their doors, I've heard, but we need to come in calm, cool, and calculated and take advantage of that as a rally point right now. Um, if anybody can get somebody from that tribal office on this call, uh, I will push you forward in the call so you can speak up. But we need to we need to offer that to uh, to the refuge here right now. Um, Diane, uh, you're you're in that area. Can you act, Diane? Are you still on the call? Yeah, I'm right here, hon. Hey, hon. Uh, how how close are you to that tribal office that you're aware of? Um, probably about 40 minutes. Was that 40 minutes or 20 minutes? 40. I'm actually thinking about, because they said that the, the last convoy was seen a half hour ago going through Barstow. Right. That gives me probably about 15 minutes to throw some shoes and boots on and head to the 15 and see if I can find a place to perk and see if I can see it coming. All right, 10-4. That would be awesome if you could do that. And then uh, if, if you're on that, if you have any other people that are as close as you are, if you could get them to confirm live at the tribal office that they're going to allow us to, to send some of our refugees that way, that'd be great. Okay, definitely. Uh, I'm trying to get a hold of somebody while I'm driving out to the 15. I'm going to go put my shoes on now and head up there. See if I can see anything. All right, uh, I just got to find a good place I'm, to perch. Uh, can you keep her for a second, please? Hey, to, Diane, I'm going to text you, you here in a answer? second. You text me back when you're ready, all right? I'm sorry? I have information from the FAA. Yeah, where Diana, hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. Diana, I'm going to text you directly right now. And uh, you hang on to that number. Text me directly when you're there, okay? Okay, hon. Bye. Thank you. Do you want the recording right, uh, stay from the FAA? I'm sorry? Everyone on the call can hear it. Would mm -hmm. you like for the recording from the FAA to be played? I can play it through Skype. It was recorded. Uh, if, if, if you don't mind hanging on to that, um, hold on. Actually, if you could go ahead and speak again, I'm going to take your number down, and uh, we're going to share that information at a latter time. Uh, there was a lot of data that I think would take up another portion of this phone call while we're on so much focus. Uh, there was another gentleman from the Air Force uh, that was recent Air Force. If you're still on the line, I need you to speak up. Uh, the one for Whiteman Air Force Base? Yeah. Um, based on what you know. I wasn't in the military. I'm just, I just lived near, I just lived near uh, Whiteman Air Force Base, and I was trying to get confirmation from people in Kansas, Colorado, and all those in Colorado, Utah, all the way to Nevada to see if they can spot any aircraft that it was seemed a pretty large amount was heading uh, westbound helicopters and jets as well. So I don't know if they're they, – I live um, pretty close, so I don't know if they were landing or what, but they're traveling at a high rate of speed. So anybody from Kansas, Colorado, et cetera, I'm trying to get confirmation if they're still heading in that direction. So if anyone could chime right. in on that. I want you to stay on the line. You let me know. Uh, I want you to speak up as soon as you got the next one. Uh, there was another gentleman from Texas that was trying to chime in. I was actually on the end. I was just chimed in. All right. Uh, how about Missouri 2? Hold on a second. Missouri 2 or Missouri 1? Are you guys still on? Um, Missouri 2 is here. Missouri 2, did you finish your question from before? Uh, I'm, the Missouri 2 is the uh, Whiteman Air Force Base. 